The LGBTQ LMNOP woke crowd strikes once again. Now, I don't know how much of my audience follows gaming these days and Call of Duty content creators. There's a really big Call of Duty content creator called Nick Merckx. He's got 4 million subscribers, which means he's one of the biggest content creators for gaming on the internet. Well, recently he's been cancelled for comments against gay people. Now, once again, this has all happened in America where everything is just an absolute mess right now. But my problem with it and the reason why I want to cover it is because that type of stuff seeps over into the UK because we just follow what America does basically and whatever they believe, we start adopting as well. And there's recently been protests which have actually turned violent because a school in Glendale, California is currently voting on recognising June as Pride Month. Meaning in this primary school, filled with kids, they're going to have a whole month dedicated to celebrating LGBTQ related topics. Now, if the gay community want a month to celebrate their gayness, then that's fine. Like, do I care that much? Not really. Do I think it's a little bit silly? Yeah, just in the same way that a lot of black people think Black History Month is a little bit silly and that you've got to move on from it. Not my opinions, it's Morgan Freeman's opinions. Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're going to relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you moment. do with yours? What, which month is white history month? <laughs> no, well, no, 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 come on. Tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay. Which I'm month is Jewish history month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh. Oh. Why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no. No. I, 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 I don't either. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? And Stop still... talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. You know Putting it in the schools and having our kids subject to this agenda and all this sexual in nature behavior and very confusing beliefs just doesn't sit right with me. Can we all agree on this first before we move forward with the video? Do you disagree? Do you think it should be fine to talk about this stuff in schools? Comment down below. But anyway, anti-LGBTQ protesters attacked pro-LGBTQ demonstrators outside of a Glendale, California school board meeting, which was pretty big news last week. Nick Merckx originally tweeted about this and he said, they should leave the little children alone. That's the real issue. And then after tweeting this, he went on to expand and explain in a little bit more detail. He was cancelled for this. See what you think of his comments. I didn't like what I was seeing, man. Okay, it, it, I, I saw I saw parents bra brawling in front of a fucking school with kids. It, it, I just didn't, I just didn't. I just didn't fucking like it. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys can understand how that, that video would piss some people off. It pissed me off. Okay. Uh, now, I mean, full full transparency. You know, I like... How do I put this? I gotta be very, very careful here. I don't want to piss anybody off. I'm making a lot of people mad. Most of my intention. I mean, listen, you, we... My wife and I just had a baby. Brand, brand new father. You know, we... We we seeing these kinds of videos, it's 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 sad, you know. Um, but her and I agree that we we want to be the ones to talk to our kid about things like that. I'm trying to keep it really simple, just so we don't have to get too crazy about it, because there's nothing to get crazy about. It's just it, it really is that simple. I think I just have a like a bigger perspective on this now, being a parent, than I than I did maybe two months ago. So you know, the video bothered me, right? And that's that's uh, I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's the place to speak about things like that. And it's not that I think that it shouldn't be spoken about. If that's what you got from that tweet, then you're just wrong. I don't have any quarrel with anybody in here. I don't have any quarrel with people on, on, on the internet. Um, it wasn't an anti, I guess, gay, gay, gay tweet. That wasn't what it was. I'm not apologizing about the tweets. I don't feel like I'm, I don't feel like it's wrong. I'm going to stand by what I said. I'm not going to delete the tweet. You know, I just want to make sure everybody understands exactly the point I was trying to make. Not really controversial at all. And I completely agree with them. Leave the kids out of it. Parents should have the right to discuss these type of things with the kids themselves. It shouldn't be the responsibility of teachers. The problem with this is because teachers can then start pushing their own agendas onto kids. We know this already happens. I've done a video covering it before. You can go and check that out here. I highly advise you to go and watch it because you think that this is an isolated incident, but it's not. A, it's quite common. 
There's teachers all over TikTok pushing this LGBTQ stuff down people's throats. I don't care which way you swing, just don't push it onto people. Andrew Tate said it great in the interview the other day. It started off people saying, I want to be gay, and it's like, yeah, fine. And then it's, I want to get married to the same sex, and it's like, okay, right, yeah, go on, whatever. And now it's like, let's speak to the kids about being gay. It's like they're never happy, and they're always trying to push the boundary. Why can't you just be gay and get on with your life? Like in the same way that a lot of people who I know in the real world who are gay, they don't shove it down people's throats. I've got a lot of mates and clients who are gay. We have a lot of clients who come to our gym, who train with other coaches who are gay, and you wouldn't even know it. The other day I found out that a lad was gay who's been coming to our gym for ages, for years, with one of the PTs there, and he's gay. And I didn't even realise, because he's not shoving it down your throat. Then you've got stuff like this. Once again, they're just pushing the boundary a little bit too much. And then, what happens? You get violence. You get all these anti-protesters then. And what does it look like? It then looks like that everyone are bigots, or everyone's homophobic. When that's not the case, at all. It's just people don't want ideologies shoved down the throats. So Nick Merckx was completely justified in saying this, but it doesn't stop there. Not long after Nick Merckx came out with this tweet and then statement on his Twitch channel, Call of Duty itself responded to the controversy by punishing him. For anyone who doesn't know Call of Duty, you can get different skins, different costumes, if you like, for your character when you're playing. Because Nick Merckx is a huge YouTuber and content creator, he's brought a lot of eyes to Call of Duty. He's made a lot of people play it. He's bringing attention to the game, and that's why Call of Duty give Nick his own skin so you can play as Nick makes in the Call of Duty game. That's how big of an influencer he is in this space. But anyway, Call of Duty released a statement saying, due to recent events, we have removed the Nick makes operator bundle from the Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone store. We are focused on celebrating pride with our employees and our community. The problem with this is you're isolating a massive, massive majority of your audience. It's the same thing what Bud Light has done and they lost millions in the stock price. It's the same thing what Gillette done. You're Go woke, you go broke. How many lesbians and gays do Call of Duty have in their staff? Maybe a handful. How many millions of people play Call of Duty? And this is why I won't support games like this anymore. Because all they care about is extracting as much money from you as possible. And then they take a big fat crap on their top creators who've brought them a lot of money and attention. There was nothing wrong with Nick Merck's comments. Yet all these gaming journalists and media outlets and blogs want to paint them in a bad light. It's the same with Andrew Tate. You say something, even if you are joking about it, and they take it out of context and twist it and use it against you. Just for the clicks so they can get more money. Here's some of the headlines that surfaced after Nick Merckx's comments. Everyone just wants to kiss Activision's ass. You know very well that Nick didn't make any anti-LGBTQ comments. When I become a famous YouTuber in a year or a couple years, and I've got hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers, and I'm doing my YouTube boxing events, I guarantee someone will probably come back to this video, chop it up, take it out of context, and then it'll be me on camera saying, I'm not anti-LGBTQ. Nah, I would never do that. You'll never see me apologising for anything I say in these videos. I mean what I say. Chop it up as much as you like. I've got a brick and mortar business, the smashes it. I do YouTube for fun. I'm not subject to Activision or certain sponsorships. So Activision, you cancelled Nick Merckx. You're isolating a large percentage of your audience. Call of Duty is crap and it has been for a while because of something called skill-based matchmaking. If you don't know about that, look that up. You're just trying to squeeze as much juice and as much money out of people and you'd rather be in with the woke crowd than keep your audience happy. Comment down below what you think of this. Did Nick Merckx overstep the line? Or where does comments completely fine? Do us a favour boys, like this video, help it get seen by more of my subscribers. We're getting close to 30,000 subscribers. Let's keep pushing it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe because we upload every single day. Okay.